In this video, I'm gonna shoot some bamboo forests. I'm gonna have a 10 out of 10 day. We drove 35 minutes past the Black Lava Beach, past the town of Hanna, and now we're hiking up beside a river, going up to the bamboo forest, and it's gonna make for some awesome photos up there. Follow me. We just came upon the most amazing banyan tree. It's huge, unbelievably freaking huge. You gotta see it, check this out. Monster Mongo Banyan tree. Just growing in every single direction. Love this thing. I need a panel of this. Incredible. What's so cool about these banyan trees is that they uh, start to sink roots down. They, they make offshoots off the trunks like right here. And then it sinks down, it supports the tree and gives it more nutrients. Amazing tree. Love this thing. So we just crossed that bridge and bam, we just walked into the bamboo forest. It's twice as dark in here, a little bit cooler, which is really nice. And check out these tall, straight bamboos. Okay, so obviously we found the bamboo forest, which was our objective, but now finding a place where I can find a really good composition to take a photo is the next challenging part. You can't just walk into the middle of all of this bamboo and find something interesting to photograph. You need kind of a break in the bamboo where you're standing in a bit of a clearing and you're photographing the wall of the bamboo or maybe the trail that goes right down through the middle which creates a leading line. So we're scoping out all of this area around this bamboo forest to try and find that one spot that's gonna make for a cool composition. I just set up and took my very first shot and just a single image just straight into the edge of the bamboo and let's take a look at the back of the camera here to see the image and you can see that there's some ground on the bottom you see that sort of yellow so Leah had the suggestion tilt up the camera so that that ground is eliminated also there's the histogram histogram looks great it's not hitting the left not hitting the right it's perfect histogram so let's tilt it up just a little bit to try and eliminate the ground but part of the problem with that is because um, all of these are vertical lines, then you start to get the lens distortion either going like that or like that. When the lens is dead flat level, you're going to get straight vertical lines. But as soon as you do a tilt up, it causes problems. So let's take a look. Not really noticeable and I bet you anything that is out of whack, we could correct it in Lightroom. Okay, so I like this composition for one shot, so I'm going to take a pano. I flipped the camera up into portrait mode and I actually leveled the camera so it's dead level kind of vertically and that way we won't get any lens distortion. And then I can just rotate like this as I take the pano. So let's shoot this thing. I'm overlapping by about two thirds. So this is just a single row pano, but it's gonna look great. Quick review. And they look pretty good. Check the histogram, looking good. Pano's done. So I shot a pano. What I found was that it's just too dark in here. There's too much dynamic range between the dark part down below and the sky up above. I'm shooting a double row pano. So I had to use bracketing so that this is going to be a double row HDR pano. So you can see here, if you look in the back of the camera, there's the brightest of a one frame. There's the darkest and there's the medium one. So it'll turn out really good when I uh, process this 
later on using PT GUI. So we just came across a boardwalk and the boardwalk creates more of a strong leading line right down the middle of the composition. So I set up the tripod right in the middle of the boardwalk and shot a single row panel at wide angle which is really easy to do. It's bracketed so it'll be an HDR and I think this one will look good because of that leading line from the boardwalk. So at the top of this trail, past the bamboo forest, is the most incredible waterfall. We're almost there. We're just about to hike to it. All right, so I'm looking at those super high waterfalls. I want to get some quick shots of that. The problem is the rain is coming down, it's getting the camera wet, which it's, it is supposed to be weather sealed, blah, 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 but you shouldn't get your camera wet. And the other problem is that when you lift the camera up in order to shoot the falls that are high up in the air, then you get the water drops on the lens, which is why I love having my lens hood on, not just for keeping light out, but also for keeping raindrops out. So I'm gonna shoot these falls. And when I get back after this shoot today, I think I'm probably gonna have like 500 photos. And I developed a way where I can quickly develop all of my photos with presets that I've created using the top 200 photos from the past 15 years that I have shot. And if you wanna check out my presets collection, it's divided up into 15 different sets. There are over 200 presets and they help me develop my photos, process them super quickly. I'm able to sort out the winners from the losers really quick. I can't live without them. So check them out, there's a link in the description. And if you liked this video, then please consider hitting the subscribe button, hit the little bell beside it, and also uh, give a thumbs up and leave a comment. Thanks so much, see you in the next video.